<laughs> that's how the word works. Nice. Are we over? Uh, we're over, Are... but it's not caught up. That's okay. okay. Folks, uh, it's Saturday night. You know what that means? It's Murder Hobo Inc. night. Tonight is technically a one-shot, but we did that on Thursday. So tonight we're going to do Cacophony. And if you've seen the Cacophony shows, you know that anything that can happen will happen. But tonight I do have a specific adventure. If they take the bait, uh, <laughs> we will see if they do that. Uh, two of the faces you will probably recognize. One of the faces you might recognize. Uh, the third face is Michael. And this is his third time, which as we all know means he's got swag coming. He's got so swag coming. <laughs> Send me his uh, physical address, and he's going to get some swag this week. Uh, folks, let's inter – you know what? We'll start with Michael. He's been through this before. He's done two episodes. Uh, Michael, who are you, and who are you playing tonight? Uh, my name is Michael Perry. Uh, played D&D for quite a bit, third time, because uh, I had so much fun about a year ago. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am playing uh, Gruffle, who is a gnome uh, – rogue tricky uh, oh he has has his rat with him he's a you know great yeah. so he has, so he has a pet rat it's not he a has a familiar actually oh uh, no uh, oh wait you got two <laughs> arcane tricksters today <laughs> oh, that's gonna be awesome david who are you and who are you playing tonight hi my name is david i'm a, a part-time writer and uh still working on trying to be a content creator so <laughs> <laughs> uh I'm going to be playing Zadar tonight. Uh, Zadar, if you watch the Cacophony episodes, is our non-binary changeling rogue. So, Which I should hate. be fun tonight. Yeah, I absolutely hate him. <laughs> uh, last but certainly not least, normally our producer. Tonight she's playing and producing Carrie. Carrie, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Uh, I am playing Camille. She is a wizard necromancer, and she's very tired, which is why she has black circles. <laughs> So. so it's not because I hit you. No, no, he didn't hit me. The sandwiches were all good. The beer had and, the top off. And <laughs> I know I will go to sleep at some point in time. <laughs> yes, he will. Uh, folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our cool stuff like this cool brand new Cacophony Adventures Guild shirt. Uh, it's down on the RPG Swag site. If you want to join us in Discord, uh, tinyurl.com slash Discord. Join us to chat, give us some ideas, or give us some feedback. Most importantly, if you want to have a seat here or on the talk show on Tuesday nights, get a hold of us. We'll see what we can do for you. Uh, next Saturday will be the campaign, so eh, probably not next Saturday. If we do a show on Thursday, we'll try and get you in there. Uh, folks, tonight, if you missed it, we had the background up there. Uh, these three brave souls who have so far lived and resided in Cacophony uh, and are guild members in good standing for the moment uh, <laughs> are returning after a successful venture and they meet with the guild master Famunda D's Nuts, uh, my favorite bard who I have yet to get to play. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. He gives them a little chat up, finds out the particulars, confirms that they know what they're talking about, tosses them a pouch of gems for their troubles, uh, and then his faithful uh, manservant, Fault Leroy, comes in and passes him a note. Uh, he looks at these guys and makes sure that they aren't scared because he then goes into the description and he goes, looks like the city has had enough of a nuisance property uh, in the hillside district. Uh, this location is just off Penny Lane and was built by an admiral. A uh, couple Akbar. of days. Nope. Uh, it's Hal not. Crap. It is Halsey? not. Crap. <laughs> Nimitz, for God's uh, sake. Yeah. You know, actually, I didn't give the admiral a name. I should. Uh, <laughs> he's probably just a merry general or something. Um, but apparently, uh, the house was uh, purchased a while back by some. For lack of a better term, we'll call them cultists slash hippies. Uh, there were a lot of problems there, but here lately, the neighbors on Penny Lane have noticed that there have been no comings nor goings, and the landscape has gone to pot, and there's a hmm. weird smell coming from the home. 
Uh, the city engineer has passed this one over to the Adventurers Guild uh, because you guys will work on the cheap and you'll do damn near anything. Uh, we need bumper stickers. We're not sure <laughs> we'll do anything for ale. Yeah. Uh, so he asks you, and he gives you a price commensurate with the level that you guys are at. He'll give you guys uh, 600 gold pieces total or 200 big ones each. Uh, and he'll even throw in a potion of extra healing and a potion of healing. If you guys go check on this, uh, he, <laughs> Famunda, uh, has had reports... <laughs> It's haunted. Uh, he does not believe that it is haunted. Uh, if it were haunted, the clerics would be in an uproar. Uh, but he tosses that out to you, uh, noting that there has been some scuttle. But so, without further ado, uh, do you accept the mission, or do you take the bag of gems and decide, "Fuck Frank's adventure. Let's go wander the town some more." So, do we all get a potion, or is it oh, just one potion? And one potion of extra healing. Nice. He's a stingy ass. <laughs> you guys uh, have a bag of gems. You can go buy some. Uh huh. Well, what and, do we want to do? I don't know, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? Do you want to just uh, abscond with the gems? <laughs> well, you guys have earned the gems. The gems oh, are yours. Okay. That's for the job well done. If yeah. you're taking, if you're taking the potions, you're taking a job. Okay. Well, I am an echo dancer. I, I suppose we could go and check it out. Yeah, it's right up your alley. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Plenty <laughs> alley. <laughs> so, Fine with me. Let's do uh, it. I got three of you. The good news is we're going to go ahead and say, uh, because as we all know, Cacophony is still under construction, we're going to say that this right here, folks, is the Adventurers Guild Good news is Penny Lane is right across the street on the little down low. So awesome. you guys are not very far away. Uh, as you crisscross the street, screw it. We're going for a card. Uh, this we said we were going to take the job. We didn't screw you over. All right. I'm screwing you guys over first. No. Uh, <laughs> Zadar, uh, a frantic yes. lady approaches you and points out that her. Uh, adolescent daughter is missing. She is a runaway. Uh, she's about yay tall and she's wearing uh, a tiny blue dress and uh, she was last seen playing with her dog. Uh, hmm. You guys have not seen any canine activity in the area and you guys have a job to do. You want to talk to her more or go ahead and cross the street and go to Penny Lane? She's a teenager. That's what they do. Get over it. But they are useful for fetching beer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. there's, there's that option uh, anyway that is the information that you have on your way there see I didn't fuck you guys over not, not over right. that bad <laughs> kind and benevolent DM mm. uh, as you reach the area you find a, a small open plaza here uh, the homes here are all prominently built they're all one story but because of the uh, structure of the ground everything is on an angle so even a one-story building can look out over the open ocean you <laughs> surmise that all of the naval uh, uh oranges breadboard what are they what are they called on the house uh lattice yeah but it's there's another word for it. but anyway mm -hmm. that all has a naval mm -hmm. theme so it appears as though uh all of these structures uh were probably built by rich shipping magnets except for one uh, one of them has a wrought iron fence uh, that's in uh, ho holding back uh, a significant lack of landscape. Uh, up near the front entrance of it, two stone imps look at each other right in front of the door. Uh, the building's kind of in a depressed mode. Uh, it could have been nice. A three-foot field stone wall encircles the entire property, and the wrought iron fencing surrounds the area atop the field stone. Uh, currently, there are there is one neighbor out uh, tending to his garden. He puts his hand on his shovel and looks at you intently. <laughs> You may approach the house or approach uh, the individual in question. 
Hmm. Um, <laughs> let's let's go say hello, neighbor, <laughs> and see how he's doing. I'll let you talk to him. Yes. Uh, the individual is a human, male, okay. older. Uh, he gets a frumpled look on his face, kind of eyeballs each of the three of you. Uh, would appear to have a disdain for the adventurer's uh, look you guys are sporting. Oh. But he, uh, <laughs> he greets you uh, compliantly. Hello. How are you this fine day? Uh, I'm doing fine, sir. And uh, How about you? How do you find yourself today? Well, I'm just doing a spot of landscaping work, which is more than I can say for the hippies. <laughs> Uh, could you tell me a little more about the hippies? They're hippies. They're hippies. What are, what are you, daft? No, not daft. Just Give me a charisma him. check. A charisma check. Let's see if he likes you. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We need uh, to get you real dice again. Yeah, we do. Uh, 22. 22. He likes the, the cut dice of your roll. jib. <laughs> He goes, you remind me of a guy that used to sail on my ship. What would you like to know about the hippies? Uh, how long have they been there? Uh, I don't know. Too long. Mm. I hear they, uh, people haven't seen hide or a hair of them lately. No, which is nice, but as you can tell, that smell is just stench-worthy. Yeah. yeah. Everybody perception check? smell is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What, what was Our the perception check for perception. two reasons? Nineteen. Four. <laughs> Sixteen. So, uh, with Gruffles having his head in a bag, uh, Camille and Zadar, you noticed no smell, but you noticed the wind is at your back. Uh, the older male points out that yeah, if you've ever smelled death you know what the smell is and that's what's coming from that home unfortunately you guys cannot smell it it seems to be wafting south to north carrying the scent away from you he points out that the individuals purchased the house several months ago or almost a year ago and haven't been seen in almost a month i think there's something evil about them hmm. maybe they just all had heart attacks and died they're young, young ones with strange, strange beards and weird hats. I don't know. I don't think they'd have, unless they were smoking some of that agricultural herbage that they have growing in the back. I was going to ask, have, have they been growing some agricultural herbs in the back? Uh, I never much cared for that stuff on the ship. Made the sailors stupid and they'd fall overboard. But yeah, they, they do that. Hmm. Okay. Well, at first I thought that might have been the smell, but since you recognize the smell of death... Uh, uh, laddie, I was a long-time seaman. <laughs> <laughs> I know the smell of dead men. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I know, if, it wove that one in yeah. there nicely. So if you, I'm then, sure there's a tale to tell to that. <laughs> and why haven't you gone in to look? Oh, that ain't my property there, Missy. Well, that's, a, a, that's a job for the city. I keep complaining and they, the city, oh, yeah, get, ah, yeah, get off your lawn. Ah. Never yeah. answer my complaints. Oh, so. uh, maybe if we check it out, we can uh, get the, the, the wheels of the bureaucracy turning or, uh, in this city. Hell, there might even be a reward for you three if you manage to get rid of them hippies. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. He says, I must go inside. It's time for my nap. I don't know if you know this. I get cranky about this time of the day. Hmm. <laughs> well, have a nice nap, sir. You too. You too. Be careful and uh, just... Uh, Stay away from that herbage. Make your yes. brain make your brain stupid. Yes, sir. <laughs> he wanders off. Oh, e -o. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, and you notice that this individual has a ballista on a, a little widow's peak pointed towards the uh, 
bay. So is, is it is it loaded? It's loaded. <laughs> uh, probably, probably goes off every hour on the hour. <laughs> Just go ahead and weave a little Mary Poppins into this story <laughs> while we're at it. Yeah. Uh, so the three of you stand before this uh, three foot field stone uh, with uh, little gruffle looking just over the top of it. Uh, the rusty iron uh, throngs are right there. And everybody give me an investigation check as you guys look here. <laughs> well, uh, 19. Better. Good. Uh, for me, it's going to be a little bit higher. It's oh, no, 25. Yeah, okay. Maybe. All three of you notice that Ivy seems to be growing up along the corners of the front, at least, uh, making it look, you know, very scholarly like. Uh, you also notice that the fencing. Uh, isn't what you think. It looks like it's individual spears attached to metal rungs or oh. metal cross pieces. It's almost as though this the guy who made this place plundered an armory, maybe? Huh. Uh, the gates there, it appears to be unlocked. There's a short walkway through the dead grass, dead flowers, and dead shrubs up to a raised front porch that's kind of small but it does have two stone imps looking at each other you'll have to pass through the imps in order to get to the front door uh there appears to be an old brass bell next to the door or you can go inside and go down the sides of the house it's a shotgun style house for those of you <laughs> familiar with architecture oh i am <laughs> i knew you would be from louisiana <laughs> so uh what would you three like to do so the bell, I would have to cross between the imps to get to the bell. Yeah, yep. I probably would not recommend that. Yeah, they're they're looking kind of swirly. Yeah. So why don't uh, why don't we uh, Can try I the sides the under them? Uh, well, they're imps, so they're only about three foot tall. Well, I'm pretty short myself. <laughs> you could probably try and crouch down. Do you guys want to go into the area first? Let's start with that. Uh, yes. Who wants to open the gate? Uh, I'd like to check the gate for traps. <laughs> <laughs> no faith. No faith, folks. Uh, murder <laughs> hobos just trust nobody. Uh, go ahead and check for traps. Okay. I sure will. Oh, okay. Might not get away with this. 15. <laughs> right. It does not appear to be trapped at this time. There's a little bit of rust build up. Yeah, okay. All right. So I go ahead and cautiously lift the latch and try to push it open. <laughs> it pushes open, however, it's nails on chalkboard is a <laughs> loud screech echoes all across Penny Lane. I mean, it is very high decibel, uh, but it does open uh, and nothing happens. Nothing happens. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, I step inside. I will Meal. follow behind. Yeah. No. Uh, Bring up. Everybody, perception check. You know what? Better yet, initiative. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 22. Oh, man. Because we love it when you say that, Frank. 10. 20. 22, 10, and 20. Yes. Uh, Camille, you're uh, up first. What do you want to do? Hmm. So... I'm on the walkway towards the porch. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, overgrown stone cobble walkway uh, and what used to be flower beds, uh, maybe some fruit shrubs. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the cobblestones split off and go down either side of the building within the iron rung gates. And I'm where... leaning towards the cobblestones, but... <laughs> And the imps are where? They are on the small front porch, facing off with the door and the bell behind. So I get on the ground and crawl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the 20 is next. Zadar, you notice the necromancer uh, doing the U.S. Army low crawl. Oh, God. Wire. What would you like to do? Well, um, 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stand back and wait. <laughs> You're just going to wait and see how this turns out. See how this Iron Man competition turns out as yeah, she touches Electra. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I tell you what, I I make a... Uh, I'll wait until she gets through, and then I'll, I'll create a minor illusion. <laughs> of? Uh, let's just say probably of uh, a bird just sitting there pecking it at the or like it like it's gonna peck at the amp or something like that fair enough uh gruffle what would you like to do uh hmm i'm gonna throw a dagger at one of the imps <clears throat> <laughs> uh, if it's a one it will definitely hit camille go ahead and uh, attack the stone imp uh 18 oh 18 uh you ring one off the imp uh but your dagger thunk uh lands harmless you know what d12 against me oh no <laughs> let's, let's do something a little bit more entertaining hopefully we don't hear ah. 11 uh, you ring the bell. <laughs> there we go. Your dagger flies through the air, chings off the imp, and rings the bell. Uh, Camille? Great. I'm glad I wasted my clean robe on this. <laughs> Fucker. Nothing happens. Everybody perception check. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nine. <clears throat> Uh, I'm not very perceptive 16. at this moment because I'm still laughing my ass off, so seven. <laughs> uh, Zidar, you do not see anything. Uh, Gruffle, you see small adolescent footsteps going through the dirt. And Camille, you find a hair ribbon. It is oh. blue in nature. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. Uh, uh -huh. You are surprised that the gnome has flung a dagger at you, striking the imp and then ringing the bell. Uh, because if any of this was a trapped area, you'd be fucked right about now. <laughs> All of a sudden, the ground just poof. <laughs> oh, no, Scoob. <laughs> you have to go find I've that. seen that episode. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, with Camille dirtying her uh, necromantic robes, uh, Ruffle, uh, Zadar, what would you like to do? Uh, Genie's out of the bottle now, so let's... Let's head on out there. Yeah. I was I was gonna say go around the side, but you know our presence it, so. is known. <laughs> We're here. Uh, Gruffle, would you like to pick up your dagger? Uh, yeah, I'll grab that. Okay. Uh, roll straight up d twenty. Let's see if you uh, dinged it up. Seven. And, uh, you're gonna need to sharpen it, but it's still useful as a weapon. Okay. Uh, all three of you are now on the porch. These small stone imps, for some reason appear out of place uh on the bell you see that it is etched uh with the name ss saratoga and you assume that that it was the ship of this admiral okay uh, uh perhaps a warship given all the spears that make up the, the that fence be, line that would be a fair guess is there okay. a window in the door <laughs> Uh, there is, but it is foggy. There are also two windows on either side. They appear to be covered with window blankets. If you've seen the movie, The Heat, AKA curtains. So window blankets yeah. on the inside, not outside, correct? On the inside, so, correct. Yeah. <laughs> not no, no peeking, no peeking. <laughs> we found, we found a grow. <laughs> That's right. There's, there's a strange orange glow beyond the, the window hangings. <laughs> so how big is the window in the door? About yay big. I take my quarter staff and I break it. Oh, very good. Uh, you know what? I probably should have mentioned this sooner, but uh, Famunda D's Nuts mentioned, try not to wreck the place. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, just, they're, just, they're just clearing it out to resell yeah uh you, just you the small glaciers whatever you, you know the smaller windows are the most expensive right <laughs> that's right uh it was you broken when we got here <laughs> you smash it out and uh, everybody give me an audio perception check aka perception check seven uh let's see uh 19 bless you three 
Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gruffle and Camilla must be deaf or picking the glass fragments out of their ears. Zadar, you hear a soft whistling coming from the interior. That's odd. <laughs> I hear, I hear not odd whistling. at all. Not odd. We're we're marking this up as normal reaction. Normal reaction. It is cacophony. So this That's is normal. Right. Uh, I say there. I hear. I hear whistling inside. So, like, <laughs> is it a tune or is it just like air? Do I recognize a melody? <laughs> no, you do not. It's just a soft, low whistle. Okay. So something is leaking. Uh, kettle. It's uh, the grow. Uh, they're they're growing meth here. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pressure valve going off. Yeah, they're at, this is a dice mold. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say they got the pressure pot that's, going. That's right. <clears throat> so no, it uh, it sounds like wind. Uh, okay. Possibly going through a broken window. Just saying. Just so, saying. Is the door actually locked? Since we didn't oh, we're gonna that. check. <laughs> We're going to check. Uh, the door is currently unlocked. Awesome. <clears throat> I open the door yeah. and step aside and let my compatriots stand <laughs> in the doorway. Everybody says, fuck you. <laughs> uh, you have already bashed out the foggy leaded glass set at the height for a human to look into, but it is still too cloudy to see inside. Uh, the double doors are unlocked and they squeak. Er when opened to reveal a long hallway. As you enter, who's entering first? I guess I am very cautiously. <laughs> you know what? Nobody ever says, fuck it, I'm going in recklessly, except for Dewey. Yeah. Uh, okay. Zadar, you enter in, and you are surprised uh, by a deep voice. Welcome, visitor. We have been expecting you. An oil light set on the wall. Blink into existence, illuminating with flickering light um, the long hallway. You also notice a door about 10 feet up onto your left and a door about 12 feet up on your right. Uh, there is wood paneling along the base. I, I'm, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Blaster along the top. Um, is it and, shoddy wood paneling or is it like the real stuff? It's real stuff. Okay. This guy spared no expense. Please tell me there's portraits <laughs> lining the hallway. There are portraits and the <laughs> smell of death hangs in the air and is easily recognized. Uh, the portraits are askew. Some of the pictures are missing. Oh, okay. But two sets of uh, luminaries lit when you opened up two more further down the hall uh giving not complete darkness but not very bright illumination <laughs> so okay. you can go um zadar give me a perception check okay <laughs> yeah because we know i'm perceptive <laughs> okay that is not going to be very perceptive that's eight <laughs> yeah you only notice the door 10 feet on your left and the door 12 feet on your right uh and then the hallway continues that is that carrie's broken glass that i'm hearing <laughs> <laughs> that's right yes that that would be the broken glass you're stepping on <laughs> so i hope you bought good boots yeah i hope so too <laughs> so can we call out to see if we can get this person to answer us again yes Zadar is leading. I don't care what he does. <laughs> and it's just like, and uh, who might our gracious host might be? Hippies. Peace, love, sex, weed. Free weed. Who's, who, who want weed? Who want weed? Who want weed? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just like, well, uh, is, our, is our host going to come out and greet us or... So far, there is no creaking, no noises, no nothing. Okay. Uh, Gruffle or Camille, who's in next? Uh, I'll, I'll go in. I'll, I'll jump in. <laughs> you, get, you get the same deep voice greeting. Welcome, visitor. We have been expecting you. Uh, the oil lights flicker, but mm -hmm. remain on. Now, do I hear it that time when it goes off? Or was it just me that only heard it the first time? You heard it. And I heard, heard it, it the times. second. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. 
all three of you would have heard it both the first time and the second time. You were within close enough proximity to hear the uh, deep baritone. Uh, uh, how close are some of the portraits on the wall? Are they close to us? Uh, the hallway itself is five feet across. Uh, and yes, two images would be close enough to grab or investigate if you'd like. Yeah, what do they look like? Uh, which one? The one on the left or the one on the right? Uh, let's take the one on the left first. The one on the left is a seaside picture. Uh, however, as you look at it, the waves seem to undulate with the vessel pitching. But I saw that you, at a mall once. Yeah, but when you readjust <laughs> your vision, uh, all you see is the giraffe. <laughs> uh, all, all you see is just what it is, huh? in the water. Yeah. So uh, the longer you stare at it, the more it appears to move. That's the one on the left. Uh, looks expensive, and I will steal it. Uh, with, <laughs> I will cut it out of the frame with Mage Hand. That, that's what I was going <laughs> to Mage Hand, you candy ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Camille, you're in third, I assume? Yep. Uh, once uh, Gruffle gets out of the way, you can step in. Welcome, visitor. We have been expecting you. Well, if it's a we, you haven't been cleaning your house because it stinks in here. What's going on? The, the voice is not Alexa. It's no. just a voice. Yeah, I, think uh, I, I think I recognize this spell. I tell uh, you. <laughs> Camille, roll perception at advantage. Well, actually, all three of you, you two are arcane tricksters, right? Yes. Everybody yes. roll perception uh, at advantage. Okay. Seven. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. are, are you rolling a D20 or? Yeah. 15. I yeah, need tw a new one. <laughs> 21. Um, I'm sorry, Camille. What was yours? 15. Uh, Camille and Zadar, you look up and back and you see a magic mouth. Uh, there is a wire coming from the magic mouth that runs down the wall just inside the doorway and disappears underneath the wood flooring. Uh, Zidar being a rogue, you can surmise that there is probably a pressure plate just inside the door that offers this greeting. Right, right. Um, See, nothing scary. Nothing you know, scary at all. <laughs> Mr. Jack Handy's probably the bad guy. All you gotta do is <laughs> So, with Zidar, Gruffle, and Camille all inside, uh, Gruffle, you have finished mage handing out the very expensive looking portrait uh, on the left. Camille, Zidar, and Gruffle, what would you like to do now? Um, you know, I'm just admiring the fact that, you know, he cut that portrait out <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the mage hand. Well, you know what? Since he's been rolling shitty, uh, Gruffle, give me just a straight up D twenty. Let's make sure you don't. All right. Oh yeah, that was the one. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so your mage hand, yeah. uh, oh, you are now, you have carved a big G. Into it. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh man, oh, man. it you was like try that when we got here. That's yeah. right. Yeah. You want to try for the one on the right? <laughs> sure. Why not? What uh, does that one, one look like? The one yeah. on the right is a cityscape. Uh, and an individual, the longer you stare at it, seems to flick gold coins into a pot held by a beggar. And you could almost swear you hear the coins clink. But when you move, it's just a painting. Hmm. Would you like to try and carve that one off? <laughs> um, might not be my uh, cup of tea or, or my expertise to cut portraits out. So, do <laughs> you want to give it a chance or give it a try? It's, uh, I'm thinking about it. And it's just like, you know, this is an interesting experiment with the mage hand. So it's just like, I summon the mage hand, give it my dagger. I'm gonna give it a whirl. <laughs> okay, give me a d20. Okay. Like I said, I was I was really impressed with that idea. Okay. Oh, shit. Was... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a one, but it's a seven. <laughs> so uh, Zidar takes the dagger into his mage hand, says, Gruffle, 
watch how an expert does this. And then cuts an ellipse into the painting, fucking it up just as badly, but mm. not as horribly. Okay. Uh, I was here's... totally expecting the Zorro Z to go in. <laughs> if it would have been a one, it would have been. Uh, everybody, here's a creek. Uh, uh, do I surmise what direction it's coming in? I'm like, Whoop. if you want to know where it came from, everybody roll investigation. All right. Eight. Fifteen. Eighteen. Wow. Michael, are you, are you sure you're rolling I have no idea. Or... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zadar, you think it came from further down. Camille, you think it came from the room on the left. Uh, I would like to investigate the room on the left. Okay. Zadar? Um... I'm going to follow the necromancer's lead. <laughs> Coward! Coward! Uh, Camille, do you open the door? Yes, I do. You open the door to this chamber and discover several padded seating areas, including a small couch directly in front of a fireplace, which is opposite the entrance. A look around shows heavy tapestry covering the front window, and it appears as though someone is sitting on the couch, but they do not appear to be moving. The fireplace has a naval battle chiseled into the mantle and an old steering wheel above uh, with a brass nameplate on it that you cannot read from this distance. Hmm. The smell is death and must. Uh, I will go forward to investigate the person sitting there. Sadar? Gruffle? Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go forth and investigate. <laughs> um, anything look expensive in this room? Yes, actually, there is a uh, golden sextant in here. Everything Ooh. in this room is naval related. Mm. Uh, there's a golden sextant off to the back left corner from where you entered. Uh, there is a uh, heavy parchment maps adorning the walls. Uh, they're older uh, and of foreign lands, but they could also be of value. Uh, so you, you you had me at golden sexton. So I, yeah. I, I kind of figured. Uh, and uh, it, does it there is, happen to be a compass? Uh, not that you can see, because you and Camille are going up towards the um, the body. The body. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gruffle, would you like to go grab the sexton? I will. Yeah. Would you like to pick it up? I will. Care. Yeah. No it's mage hand. I'm going it, like. He's <laughs> going for it. it. It's heavy, but it's expensive. Okay. Uh, and it is. That's it, why you know it's heavy, or no, it's expensive. It's heavy. That's right. You, 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 you bite it, it bite the, it, gruffle to, to, to make right. sure. <laughs> uh, there, there are other naval themed items in here. Gruffle D12 against me. All right. Ten. One. Uh, there ain't no <laughs> compass, though, so there's some other stuff in there. Uh, Camille and Zadar, uh, if you go straight in, you'll hit the back of the couch. Did you want to peel off left and right to kind of... Yeah. yeah so yeah, is we'll the couch do... facing away from us or towards us? It's facing the fireplace away from you. And there's just a, uh, okay. a head right here with a couch cushion right about here. How far away am I from it? 10, 11 feet, not very far away. Um, so I move forward about halfway and poke it with my quarter staff. Uh, give me a d20 roll, straight up. Fuck. One. <laughs> Your quarter staff goes into the neck. <laughs> if it wasn't Ted, it is now. <laughs> uh, and, and it makes a, a grotesque squish noise. <laughs> Lovely. Well, you like dead things. Oh, you know. I pull it out and wipe it on the couch. The head goes out of your view. <laughs> um, is there a window in here? There is to the left with the heavy uh, window curtains on it. I would like to tear down the window blankets. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this no, no, blanket. blanket. <laughs> uh, with the 
Icor and goo still dripping off your yes, quarter staff. Wipe it off on there. You walk past Gruffle as he's biting on this golden sextant and give a mighty yank. Give me a straight up D20. Oh. Let's make sure that the dusty thing doesn't cover you. Haha, ha, 20. Uh, you whip it down effectively and uh, sunlight pours in illuminating the room you can actually see the dust rising from the uh carpeting or tapestry hanging there zadar as she does this you can now see that the uh maybe previously deceased maybe she just fucking killed him immediately I just, I poked body it. I like, uh, it. has a brown and gray robe and is fallen off the couch and is face down ass up in an unusual position, noting that the fact that they, if not previously were dead, are certainly dead now. Yeah. I mean, uh, aside from the icor and all that, the the rate of decay, I mean, how is it? Are we talking uh, gooey it's mass? Been, it, it's been a while. Yeah. It's been okay. a couple weeks. All right. <laughs> I've seen this before, <laughs> probably. So. There's also a nice stain in the couch from where she wiped off her quarter staff. Sure. <laughs> whatever okay so is now that we have light in the room do we notice anything else uh gruffle will notice several paintings maybe he'll cut them out maybe he'll <laughs> vandalize them I think um, I learned my lesson. Yeah. the the mantle is exquisite it's somebody paid some buckaroos to have this done and then uh the old ship steering wheel is up there steering wheel huh mm-hmm um yeah i'm like forward to, to wheel. yeah an el camino <laughs> steering, <laughs> steering wheel <laughs> it's got the ford right across it. <laughs> is there another word for that <laughs> I, you know what I, I don't know the show no wheel. it's a, it's the chain link steering wheel <laughs> 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 Sorry, we're redneck it's got the confederate flag in the middle of it exactly. it's a chain steering wheel for those of you in Miss Louisa Bama, I still don't care. That was still the funniest episode. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the steering wheel, if you go up and approach it, you can probably make out the name uh, of the ship. Okay. Uh, I, I'm <coughs> guessing the Saratoga, but I could be wrong. You are wrong. It is the SS Clydesdale. Oh, okay. Uh anything on the mantle uh small figurines of ships it almost <laughs> looks childlike and cheap uh gruffle there are three paintings on the far wall all of naval background you could try to cut it out by hand this time <laughs> maybe with your yeah. eyes open <laughs> <laughs> we could we could um oh go ahead gruffle give it a try yeah <laughs> I will. why not ain't getting Dude. worse yeah, no. Unless you burn the place down. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, want me to roll anything? Yep. Straight up D20. <laughs> First painting. 14. 14! You get the painting of the Battle of Trafalgar Square. <laughs> I don't know. Wherever that is. <laughs> yeah. Some now I'm wasting important. all these good rolls. 18 for the second one. Uh, the Battle of Algiers is next. <laughs> <laughs> and then three for the last one. Uh, the naval engagement at Omaha, Nebraska is the third one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all, you do not recognize any of the names on these places at all. These are clearly foreign spots of interest. Nice. Uh, each painting is worth 100 gold pieces. Nice. God, I gotta loot more. <laughs> uh, Zadar and Camille, uh, all you have is the mantle and the ship wheel. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Or the dead body. Yeah. Um, I'll check the dead body. Yeah. I'm not afraid. You go ahead. <laughs> uh, underneath the dead body is a crystal goblet. Ooh. Oh, okay. It is worth eight gold pieces. And there seems to be residue at the bottom of the goblet. <clears throat> Can I tell what kind of residue it is? Um, would you like to taste it? No, I would not. Okay. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a grit. Like a hummus? 
Yes. That's actually. <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie Spy, folks, that's where that joke comes from. <laughs> I am going to I say, hold on a second. And I summon my familiar and it is a Tressum. What's that? That's the winged cat. Can see oh, invisibility okay. and detect nice. poison. <laughs> okay, it's a it's a alternate uh, familiar. Okay. So. No, that's fine. I uh, we all know I don't give a shit as long as you can explain it. Yeah. <laughs> and if I have to fact check you and find out you lied to me, you die in the next scenario. Sidar, uh, <laughs> your familiar. No, 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 no. Aquaman's over to you and says the residue is a toxin. Okay. Meanwhile, back on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> I think we surmise that uh yes, that this guy probably died of poisoning. <laughs> How do you know it's a guy? Are you just assuming? Misogynist yeah. pig. <laughs> You're talking about the guy that shape shifts into female, so well person. <laughs> You know, oh, a oh, oh, now, we're back, now we're back peddling. He, d- he doesn't identify. <laughs> uh, you also notice that uh, Gruffle is a uh, stolen paintings, like he's some kind of art. He theme. is, man. Gruffle, is aka bad. Hudson Hawk. <laughs> well, he's going to take it to the Louvre in Wisconsin. In Wisconsin. <laughs> uh, so, Gruffle, you're done uh, hijacking uh, extensive, expensive works of art uh and zadar and camille are checking out the dead body that she may or may not have killed i didn't kill it it was already decomposing <laughs> oh that should help with the rug below <laughs> they're gonna have a hazmat come in um i want to go across the hall and investigate Sir the other room. comes in that's right <laughs> fair enough uh you two notice that camille is marching across uh towards the open door and headed across the hallway would you guys like to continue to examine this room or follow her oh no i'll go yep i'm uh um me and uh the tressum we're gonna take a look around i'm gonna check out the maps okay Uh, uh is there also a map case like a like a tube or anything like that? There is that? not a scroll tube here. Give me a D12 okay. on checking out the maps. Okay. Two. Two, huh? Well, let's see if I can do better. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> uh, one of the maps you take notice of, and it's a sewer map of Mesopotamia. Hmm. Okay. Well, might be cool. valuable. Yeah. 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 Might, might be different. Uh, Camille or Zadar, did either one of you take the crystal goblet? I did not. I did not. Uh, the the Tressum said poison, so I, I kind of <laughs> kept hands off. Fair enough. Camille and uh, Gruffle, uh, you walk out into the hallway. Still nobody there. Uh, you pick up on the slight whistle heard by Zadar earlier. Uh, you still can't figure out where that thing's coming from. Uh, you walk two feet over, uh, and there is another door right there. Um, but I'm going to take another uh, walk around uh, to the body. Since you brought up the goblet, I'm going to cast Mage Hand and pick up the goblet. <coughs> Mage Hand candy asses. Okay. Uh, it. Eight, eight gold pieces for that one. Uh, uh, did I forget who I'm playing with? <laughs> it's like, come on. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the imps weren't trapped for god's sake the bell wasn't trapped jesus it's not thieves guild for god's sake uh oh, geez <laughs> ruffle and camille you notice something different about this door it appears to be on rails is it a pocket door it's not a pocket door it is a barn door style hmm. on the outside interesting hmm. who wants to open it <laughs> i'll open it with mage hand <laughs> the door slides are roughly on a metal track uh, in the floor and on the ceiling and exposes a room covered in bookshelves and ornate mm. globes smeared with red paint sits in the center of the room between a pair of padded chairs books and scrolls lie in the walls with oval plaques with names on them uh, under each name there is additional writing a fireplace directly across uh, has the remains of some books and scrolls present as well. Nazis. Is there a window? 
Uh, yes, just inside and to the right, also covered with window blankets. <laughs> I would like to go tear down the window blanket, please. Tear down this window blanket with a D20. <laughs> Fuck. Two. Uh, you give it a yank. It falls over you. Give me a constitution check. This is going to be bad. Uh, seven. Okay. Uh, Gruffle, what are you doing? Uh, so there's a bunch of books. And there's flats. anything on the fireplace. It looks uh, nice. You want to go look to the fireplace? Yeah. Uh, as you venture in, uh, you notice that there is a foreign suit of armor over in the corner uh, on hooks and flanking above it are two foreign blades. Uh, they are covered. Uh, they are curved and covered in runes. Hmm. Uh, as you enter and look at the mantle, uh, you notice again, this guy was made of freaking money uh, because the carving is unbelievable on it. God. <clears throat> Um, Zadar, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I'm picking up the goblet and putting it in the evidence bag. <laughs> uh, uh, evidence, i.e. stolen shit. shit, shit. Of, yeah, uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to join, uh, the Tressman and I are going to join them next, uh, across the hall. Uh, you cross the hall, you look left, you look right, you still hear, hear the strange moaning or whistling, and as you enter the room, you notice that Michael, or I'm sorry, Gruffle, is busy inspecting the fireplace on the far side, but there is a ghost on the right. <laughs> go, 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 go. Flailing around. It looks like a giant tapestry. Uh, you also hear coughing and hacking underneath it. And swearing. <laughs> a lot of swearing. Wow. Okay. Is any stupid motherfucker going to help me here? Dab it. It's talking at you. <laughs> It's using <laughs> profanity. The ghost is profane. Oh, man. Hello? Am I alone? Did everybody leave? <laughs> no, we're here. <laughs> Mark, there is a darkness skull cast upon me. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe a contagion has been let loose. <laughs> it is called the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> the COVID, yeah. Nah, if there was anything in the room, the, the trust of what a taught me you know toxin disease or poison the, the, so. tre the tressum does this <laughs> fine i take my dagger out and i cut through it nice well that was an expensive piece of artwork that you just destroyed it's a fucking thank you curtain. it's a tapestry <laughs> of untold values <laughs> it was like that when we got here fair enough so all three of you are in this room uh gruffle is noticing the exquisite carving of the mantle uh, each of you notice a variety of books and scrolls here uh, and uh, a strange suit of armor hanging on the wall built for a human and two curved blades covered in runes. There's also plaques down both walls. Am I able to identify what type of weapon, like short sword, scimitar? It would be a scimitar-like weapon, okay. both of them. Okay. Finesse Is there weapons. Anything in the suit of armor? Uh, you go look. Yes. Nope, it's empty. Uh, Gruffle, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna yeah take a look at one of the scimitars. Try to grab one off. Mage hand, of course, because I'm short in time. <laughs> you <laughs> get one, I'll get the other with the right, mage yeah. hand. Yeah. It is high up. Uh, so as Camille looks at the armor, uh. Gruffle and Zadar go ahead and use Mage Hand. Uh, uh, uh. All of a sudden, all three pieces come flying off the wall, whip around you, forcing you between the mantle and the front door. Everybody oh. roll for initiative. Initiative. I knew it. Mm -hmm. Animated Time. stuff. Oh my gosh. 14. 10. 4. Uh, You're I, nice. know, I, knew, I, I knew this guy <laughs> I was know. Have something like that. Oh, man. Okay, 19. 19, Zadar, you're up. You're facing off with the flying sword. 
The flying sword. Okay. Uh, you and Gruffle need 17 to hit these little bastards. Uh, Camille, <laughs> you're going to need an 18 to duke it out with the animated armor. <laughs> Each yeah. of these items has a yellow citrine stone either in the hilt or on the center of the chest piece. So are they... Zidar Good to know. Go are they only attacking Sadar? And no, the armor is attacking you. A flying sword is on Gruffle. A flying sword is on Zadar. Oh, you dumb fuckers. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm like, uh, you know, a dispel magic spell might might stop all this. <laughs> I don't that's, know. That's, that's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm going to carve you like a fucking turkey. <laughs> well, well, bonus action, I use my, <laughs> I use my short sword. <laughs> there you go. So, all right. So, so am I taking my turn? Yep, you're all first. Right. All right. So, since I used my action to make a suggestion, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the the off hand and um, take a swing. Oh, and, you did not know I was not left-handed. Uh, exactly. So, does uh, 18 hit? 18 does hit. Okay. Let's see. And off. Oh. <laughs> Five points of damage. Wow, you really showed that thing. Yeah, I did. Uh, Camille, you're up next. Uh, um, I cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay, fair enough. Uh, is that your only action, or are you going to take a bonus action with a cantrip? I don't know how that works. You can uh, do a cantrip as a bonus action. That I did not know. You can you can fire off a cantrip as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. And fill bar you can because, as Kyle will tell you, I don't read the books. I don't gotcha. care. Uh, I'm in it for the fun. No, I like that rule. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure they're lying to me, but that's how we're gonna play it. <laughs> <laughs> lying bastards. <laughs> Who's been telling you that, Kyle? <laughs> Does Ray of Frost do anything? Well, it does if you hit them. Yeah, it does. Okay, yeah. we'll try that. See if you can hit. 16. Negative, Ghost Rider. <laughs> now, did you add your uh, spell bonus to hit? Uh, no, what is that? My uh, initiative? No. No, it's uh, look for your save on your spell. Uh... And it should be next to it. It should be like a plus. Oh lord, the cat's nodding on me. Uh, I think I still have your character sheet too. No. Camille, third level. <clears throat> That's the beauty of it being the DM and having the character sheets. <laughs> uh, plus four. Oh, your spell okay. attack modifier is plus four. It's third column, uh, about three quarters of the way down. Okay. So that means 20. Dirty 20. Yeah, that hits. And there are too many papers for me to go through. Um, 1d8. Spellcasting's hard, Barbie! <laughs> <laughs> See if you get any new dice ever again. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm not pissing her off because I like her dice. <laughs> Two. Whoa. Uh, my turn. I will start with Gruffle. That's a four, so I'm going to skip the modifiers. The armor is a two. I'll skip the modifiers on that. And Zadar is a 17 plus three. Dirty 20. Um, I already spent my bonus action, so I can't uncanny dodge, right? Yep. Uh, take one plus one. Two damage. Two damage. Uh, okay. Gruffle, you're up. Uh, swords and armor, do you think they sleep? <laughs> you can try. I, the words I, of that I doubt it, Gruffle, but it's worth a but try. Worth a try. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, my, little ro uh, my little rat will uh, kind of come out of my skin. I'm going to use uh, his uh, that familiar action to give me help so that I have uh, Yeah, I was wondering how that happens. Attacks. On my sword, so fair enough. My short sword against that one. Good thing I have advantage, although it didn't help me that much. It's a seven. <laughs> I avoided. Yes, uh, 
spit off. Yeah. Um, uh, that would be that would be my turn. Okay. Uh, back to the top of the order with Zidar. Zidar, you're up. Okay. Uh, the battle this... continues. Okay, how is uh, sneak attack going to work for for it? I mean, do I have to burst out of a shadow or something? Or I, I is that the one with the allies in five feet or no? Right, yeah, and you got yeah. your familiar on. Yeah, your... I have you got your familiar, familiar, and you have so uh, I do Camille get sneak in between. Attack. Yeah. Okay. Which, for five E reference, this is bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was bullshit idea. All right. No, in my day, two E didn't have that crap. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. an elf. That was my class. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am going to, um, yeah, uh, go ahead and attack it with the short sword first. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Sixteen. Uh, does not hit the flying sword. Flying sword's a 17. Okay. <laughs> Bon bonus action. I'm going to cast uh, uh, Frostbite. It's going to have to do a con save. I doubt it. 12. 12. It takes um, uh, six points of frost damage. And uh, let's Close see. It. The next weapon uh, weapon attack it makes uh, it uh, is at disadvantage. Fair enough, Camille, you're up next. Uh, you have the suit of some kind of splint leather from the we'll call it the Americas. <laughs> oh, Americas. Uh, I whack at it with my quarter staff. Appears to be Peruvian. Uh, you spin out your quarter staff, flicking goo and icor everywhere that didn't. Come get... on, I wiped it off already. No Don't way. you have prestidigitation? Come on. You wiped it once. You gotta wipe it at least twice. <laughs> Maybe it's like going to the bathroom, and it doesn't matter how Enough. often. Enough. Uh... <laughs> Go ahead, Camille. You're up. Whack it with your quarter staff. Seventeen. That sounded like it rolled across. Well, like... <laughs> one of my other ones did. Uh, that's good enough. Go ahead. Do, do some damage. Uh, Three. Eh, you're chipping away at it. Uh, it's turn. Uh, the sword. Hi on uh, Gruffle. Uh, Gruffle, you will have advantage as it, it just rolled a one and embedded itself in the floor below you. Camille... That's a five. Jesus. Zadar, let's see if I can kill you early. Uh, Zadar, that's a nine plus that's, three. Twelve. That's not it. <laughs> uh, Gruffle, as the sword attempts to cut out your innards, it has embedded itself into the floor, and you will have an advantage attack on it this round. All righty. Uh, 21. Oh, easily hits. All right. So let me do my sneak attack. So that's 11 plus 3, 14 damage. Ooh, nice. You put a nick in at that time. Top of the order, Zadar. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, another sword <coughs> attack. Yep. Okay. Uh, gonna uh, make an attack at it. Okay. 17, 23. It's Okay. Uh, initially, that is... Uh, one d6. Uh, that's six points of uh, damage with that, and I gotta roll the sneak attack damage. And that is boom, thanks to my dice roller. That ain't right, but it could be <laughs> 10 points of uh, sneak attack damage. Oh, Zadora's prowess and his martial skills pays off as he slashes the blade, cutting off the hilt and causing both pieces of the blade, the weapon to fall harmlessly to the floor. Over to Camille. Camille, the suit of Americas is attacking you. You're up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, on even 17, Gruffle, uh, Camille's quarterstaff, goes 
whipping past your flowing hair, uh, <laughs> riding across that bald gnomish dome of yours. Uh, the, Leaving a trail of goo. The flying sword has withdrawn itself from the floor and attacks Gruffle. With a 16 plus 3, does a 19 get ya? Uh, 19 does get me. It slashes you for... 5 hit points of damage. Alrighty. Camille, the Armor of Americas. 10 plus 4, does a 14 get ya? Yes. Uh, it slams you. Oh, shit. For only 3 hit points. It chest bumps you for 3 hit points of damage. <laughs> it's like... Uh, right. Gruffle, you're up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use my little rat friend and keep attacking that sword. <laughs> hit him! Hit him! Hit him! <laughs> so, uh, with the familiar, do you get uh, since it's helping you? Are you are you rolling at advantage to hit? Yeah, but only it's your bonus action to use the help action as advantage. So, gotcha. Uh, four or well, that thirteen. So I guess. Oh, swing and a miss. Top yep. of the order. The R. You can assist Camille with the armor of Americas, or Gruffle with the blade of Peru. Uh, uh, I'm gonna hold my ground, but I'm gonna pull out my hand crossbow and fire one at the armor for Camille. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, psych. 22. Ah. <laughs> the armor of America's has been hit. Go ahead with damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. That is 9, and uh, I think sneak attack uh, applies to that, too. Mm -hmm. And that is an additional 5 points of damage. Oh. 19 hit points of damage total. Uh, Camille... Out of nowhere, a crossbow bolt zings into the armor, but does not seem to have stopped it. You're up. Ugh, this thing is making me tired. <clears throat> Fifteen. Uh, not good enough. Uh, it, the flying sword of the Peruvians. Uh, Nineteen plus three, twenty-two. My or uh, Gruffle. Yep. And the armor. 12 plus 4, 16 on Camille. Yes. Uh, it body checks you for three. Yikes. And the sword uh, cuts Gruffle for three as well. Gruffle, you are up. Yep, uh, going to keep, keep at, at it. And this miserable sword of the Peruvians. Uh, mm -hmm. Kill it, Gruffle. No, I don't think 15 is enough, but... 15 is not enough. Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, uh, Camille is still getting manhandled by the armor. Yes, leather uh, handled. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, I'm going to take my bonus action first and I'm going to hit it with frostbite. Uh, it's going to have to do a con save. 15 plus 0. 15. 15 beats it, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, for my action, I'm going to go ahead and uh, strike it with uh, the short sword. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. <laughs> I'm going to feel bad if it is. 15. Uh, nope. Not, Not on the bad. armor. Nope. Okay. All Camille, right. see if you can end this thing. Okay, let's see. Um... <clears throat> If only you had fireball. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure man. It's close to me while I do it. Yeah. It was already burned to the ground when we found it. Found it. it. And it's just like, I don't know what happened. Well, I only rolled four, so it doesn't matter. Swing! <laughs> big miss! The sword! Uh, no on Gruffle. And no on Camille. Uh, Gruffle, you're up. All right. Let's try it again. Oh, crit. Nice. nice. Re roll your damage dice, re-roll your damage dice, and add any modifiers. All right. And if you do more than three, it's destroyed. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to do way more than three. What's my sneak attack? <laughs> uh, let's see. 13 damage. The runes pulse with light and then go dark as the sword is shattered. Long live the Peruvians. Uh, <laughs> top of the order, Zadar. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attack the the armor again. Uh, short sir, so first short sword first. E easy for you to say. So, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, short, short, short first. Nine misses. Nine does miss. Okay, I'm going to bonus action make it do a con save again. Yeah, the animated armor is the tough one of the three. Oh! <laughs> that's a one. <laughs> oh, okay. I will take maximum damage. <laughs> yeah, and you do. Six. <laughs> uh still alive it's alive camille it's starting to look like a mesh armor of the americas we're gonna change dice here 15. nope uh, did you add your modifiers what are my modifiers uh strength to hit oh okay um duh, 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 duh. no no <laughs> It doesn't uh, work. Look at your... What weapon are you using? Uh, my quarterstaff. Uh, look down. Let me get there real quick. Plus one to hit. Oh, yeah. No, that's not going to do it. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's why I'm like, no, it's not going to work. Okay, fair enough. Uh, the armor is the only thing left. There are three of you. Two of you are actively engaged. Uh, odd Camille, even Zadar. Uh, even Zadar. A two, so I'm going to miss. Uh, Gruffle, <laughs> you are up. All right, yeah. I'm End gonna, this miserable armor of the Americas. I'm going to try to sneak behind it and, uh, you know, stab it with my short sword. Well, just tried to teabag Zadar, so you should have uh, I think 17 is not enough, right? Uh, 17 is almost there. You've scratched the surface of the armor. Zadar, top of the order. All right. Uh, again, <coughs> with the attacks, the sword attacks. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're you're going to need to play a character from Kirk. From Kirk? Yeah, you're gonna have to do a Kirk character. One of these oh, days. okay. Well, I started with the the bard, remember? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jim, I hit for three points. <laughs> okay, with my uh, with my offhand, I net twenty it. So damage, reroll okay. damage, add modifier. Okay. Uh, and if you do more than eight, it's done. Okay. Okay, let's see. First damage was four. Second is four. And then uh, yeah, modifier is uh, six. So. The two foreign blades and foreign armor are all on the ground. Uh, the dim light from their yellow citrine gemstones is now dull, but the gemstones are intact. Uh, yeah, let's try to remove the gemstones. You guys okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. There's uh, three of them. There's one for better. each of us. <laughs> yeah. 50 gold pieces a piece for those. Uh, oh, yeah. Unless you roll a one. Everybody roll straight up D20. Right. Oh, nine. Thank God. Okay. Ten. Four. <laughs> <laughs> We we we're high rollers, man. Jesus, <laughs> Gruffle's dedicated to flunking this. Uh, I know. All, all three of you managed to pry out the gemstones of this easy encounter. Uh, <laughs> uh, would you like to further investigate this room or say fuck it, I'm done? Uh, let's further investigate it. I mean, shit, we got citrines. I mean, uh, there's got to be something else here. So you have the placards on the wall. You have some books and scrolls mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the strange globe that's been vandalized. Okay. Um, uh, my Tresslum's looking around. Does it see anything? Uh, it, it, it can see invisibility and see things that are hidden. So nothing? Okay. Nothing. I All will right. take investigation rolls. High roll finds something. Okay. Okay. 
Twenty-two. Eight. <laughs> Gruffle. Uh, ten. Uh, Camille, you find a scroll with a wax seal on it of a dolphin. Your innate wizardry skills recognize this as one of the influential Volute scrolls. <laughs> For those of you unfamiliar with the Volute scroll, once you break the seal, whatever is written on the scroll happens immediately. It can be good, bad, or comedic. Uh, I think I'm going to just tuck that away into my bag. Fair enough. Might be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Cowards! Cowards! Uh, okay. That seems to be all. Uh, the rest of you notice that the plaques are apparently names of crewmen uh, because under the name is their station in life. So, oh, okay. Uh, so uh, I take a look in a note at the names. So. Uh, there are a variety of names here. Rory Calhoun, Chuck Connors, uh, <laughs> Michael Myers is in there. Uh, Kurt, Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. There's a John, uh, John McClane in there. <laughs> a lot of lot of big names there yeah. is even there is even one Dwayne the rock johnson you mean the brick the brick oh that's right the brick i'm sorry <laughs> thank god somebody's paying attention <laughs> to our our campaign our somebody's campaign. watching yeah, Dwayne, the, Dwayne the brick johnson was in there oh I, do you suppose they went to any crab fighting <clears throat> oh i'm sure they went to crab fighting everybody goes crab fighting yeah so uh, I'd like to go back out in the hall and see if we can find out where this whistling noise is coming from. Okay. Uh, Gruffle, Zadar? Uh, yes. Sounds fine with me. All three of you go back out into the hall, and it's certainly coming from deeper within the confines of the house. Awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah. From this angle, you notice that to your right and down the hall to your left is an opening to another room. Okay. Um, why not? I, why not? <laughs> it's yep, been it, working for us so far. <laughs> woo, woo. It's almost like you're being railroaded. Yeah, uh, but to be fair, it is a shotgun house, so you know there there are not there a lot an, of choices. Is there right, a right. Here? You it's haven't possible. found. You have not found a stairway going down yet. Okay. Okay. Yet. Yeah. Uh, as you go into the antechamber. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. A strong smell of sewer gas emanates from this area, which has three entry points. Uh, the northern wall is home to the origin of the smell and appears to be a cistern slash water closet. Hmm. Uh, a loo or a lavatory for those of you. Uh, everybody roll a d12. I'll take the highest one notice as something else. Uh, ten. Two. Three. Uh, wow. Hey, congratulations, Gruffle. You're among the top two. Uh, Zadar, uh, give me an odd even. An odd even? Yep. Okay. Even. Uh, even, you notice an ornate, valuable-looking rug in the center of the room. Gruffle, you notice yet another painting on the wall to the left. This one is a frumpy-looking or a handsome a woman uh, and the brass plate, the brass nameplate on the bottom reads Lady Colitis. <laughs> uh, Camille, nice. you notice there's an open doorway to the right that leads deeper into the house. So we have a rug, an exit, and uh, Lady Colitis. Okay. Thank uh, you, Heartbreak Ridge. <laughs> Ajax, a <laughs> <laughs> oh man i love that movie <laughs> so we will start with uh zadar um okay i'll have to trust them look at the the rug i mean just to see if there's like anything and you know like strings or anything hidden from it or no traps no traps okay it's i would not visible. i i've had bad luck with rugs <laughs> so i'm not gonna step on it <laughs> fair enough uh we'll move over to gruffle gruffle lady colitis stares at you menacingly and <laughs> as you move her gaze never leaves you mm. 
Moon her. Um, I don't like that. That painting has a smug aura, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut it. Oh, yeah. fair, fair enough. You whip out your dagger, and the painting speaks to you and <laughs> says, at least that thing's bigger than your penis. So, I knew it. <laughs> it is a vicious mockery painting. Give me a DC 14 versus wisdom, or be painfully wisdom. psychic out. <laughs> All right. I knew um, you like you the vicious mockery painting. So. I love those things, man. <laughs> you said 14, right? Because yep. I got a 13. Of, you Ouch. Know. You know what? <laughs> it has struck you in the manhood severely. Mm -hmm. And it is going to give you 2 plus 4. Ouch. 6 hit points of Ooh. damage. You feel small and unmanly. But you do have your dagger out. So go ahead and swing at her. Right. <laughs> Roll to hit. Yep. AC 10. Uh, 17. Hits, damage. With the dagger, six points of damage. Exactly the amount you need. As you slash through Lady Kalitis's, uh voice box, her head tips over and the painting goes quiet. Camille, uh, you notice the entry point off to your right, leading you deeper into the house. Or you can cut straight across the rug that Zadar has issues with and go to the water closet if you need to take a leak. I do not need to take a leak. Um, since Zadar has issues, I will go over and try to flip the rug back with my uh, quarterstaff. But you've got one. <laughs> go ahead and hit it. I'm not hitting. I'm being gentle. Uh, 19. Fair enough. You reach your quarterstaff underneath, you flip it over, uh, and it's got a name on the little tag. Oh. <laughs> What's that say? Uh, do not remove under penalty of execution by the king. Uh, <laughs> but you said it was an expensive looking rug, right? It does look expensive. Oh, man. <laughs> Can we make... Go ahead, Camille. Can we make Gruffle carry it? Gruffle's having a hard time. His manhood is just yeah, insulting. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think we need to give Gruffle a break. <laughs> Remember, you have two potions: one extra healing, one regular. Healing. <laughs> I cast my mage hand, and it gives him a pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> wah wah! It'll be okay. It'll be okay, buddy. <laughs> It'll be okay. You're much larger than that dagger. You're powerful, and damn it, people like you. like you. <laughs> uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay, I'm going to roll up that rug. Remember, Jack Handy loves you. Fair enough. Uh, the rug's going to be a little bit on the bulky side. Uh, okay, I'm just going to cool. set it on the side for later. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, that moves us over <laughs> to Gruffle, whose manhood um, has been twinged a little bit. I'm going to drown my sorrows in the normal healing potion, if that's okay. 1d8 plus 2, no 1s. Okay. That'll be... Oh. Eight points. Fair enough. Eight points back. Camille, uh, he uh, swallows the potion after killing Lady Kalitis. Is there a blowjob going on here? What, what was that? There is, there is no foam on the regular healing potion. Oh, okay. So, no. Uh, what would you like to do? Water um, closet or entrance? Entrance. Uh, it appears to go down a long hallway. There is some kind of swinging door on your left and a very large tapestry of a naval battle on your right and then the hallway extends down into a much larger room uh, to what you perceive would be the back of the building. So is this whistling noise get any louder depending on which way we go? Seems to be coming from the fireplace which is on the left. Well let's go check that out. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, Gruffle, are you okay? You feel you feeling better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. You feeling better? Yeah, yeah. yeah, everything's okay. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zadar, are you gonna follow as well? Yes, I am. 
the long hallway leads to a much larger room at the end, but also has a gallery galley door similar to those found on a ship to the left. A large naval-themed tapestry adorns the southern wall and depicts the Battle of Antilles. <laughs> nice. A large chiseled fireplace in the shape of a naval craft sits in the center of the hallway. This fucker obviously had money to burn. Yeah, he just puts uh, fireplaces anywhere, man. <laughs> yeah. And Camille, as a necromancer, you notice that there is a human skull that can be seen in the ash. The low moaning that you have heard seems to be coming from straight ahead in the chimney. Mm. Mm. So I bend down and I pick up the skull. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh. Initiative! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck me. (laughs) <laughs> oh shit! Oh, that would shit. be a, That'd be a one. Okay, eight, uh, eight and Zanar. Six. You guys Whoa. suck. <laughs> yeah, Scooby Doo. A swarm of bats comes flying out. Uh, eight plus four, twelve. Does a twelve hit you, Camille? Uh, well, my armor class is twelve. That hits. <laughs> One and one. Two hit points of damage as the Goonie Bats attack you. Oh, no. Uh, Next up is the eight. Uh, Gruffle, you see a swarm of bats come out of the chimney as Camille two fingers the skull, (laughs) a la Three Stooges style. Um, Now I'm going to cast sleep because I know bats can sleep. I would assume that bats sleep. Uh, no. And how many hit points can you do? Uh, 5d8. Okay, go ahead and roll. Alright. Twenty-one HP. The entire swarm slams to the ground. (laughs) Do not wake up the bats. (laughs) Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay, I mean, that's our initiative, right? I mean... Yeah, yeah, you're you're third in initiative. Uh, okay. Carl says lullaby, and boom, the bats all drop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if there's nothing else to attack, I'm just gonna kind of let the bats lie. <laughs> uh, that brings us to Camille. Camille puts her fingers in the skull and goes, "Hey, nice job there, Gruffel." <laughs> <laughs> Are they gonna stay asleep? Uh, for for. For a few, for a rounds. few rounds, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh... Okay. So yeah, I pick up the skull and dust it off and put it in my bag. Fair enough. Uh, you have the galley doors to the left, the Battle of Antilles tapestry to the right, and a big room straight ahead. So, and the whistling noise? Seems to be coming from ahead. The moaning was coming from the chimney. The whistling noise is coming from ahead. Okay. Well, let's go ahead then. Uh, The aroma of death is strong in this area. As a grim sight greets you and you enter the enormous room that takes up the entire width of the building. Cloth prayer rugs are spaced out evenly among the room and appear to be sleeping mats. Atop each rug is a decomposing body of an individual wearing gray-brown robes, similar to the individual that you found in the parlor. Wow. Vials, cups, and goblets are next to each body or are gripped in their hands. To the left is another chimney, and on the far right is a table made to look like an altar. A copper pot, Chester copper pot, sits atop the table. A finer mat is behind the table, but no corpse is present at that location. Windows look out onto the back garden, as they say in England. Backyard, <laughs> as we say in America. Hmm. Are they wearing Nikes? <laughs> they are not wearing Nikes. This is not California. <laughs> There's no pudding. There is no pudding. No pudding and uh, a comet's not, not, not going to fly by Kool-Aid? anytime soon. Was it Kool-Aid? Nope, this is not Guyana. Mm. Mm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you aren't getting these references, you need to Google it because we're all old and old to, that's yeah. what we associate it with. Yeah. So it appears as though this cult uh, committed ritual suicide in this room. Yeah. However, there are three prayer mats that are empty and one nice prayer mat that is empty. The others all have decomposing bodies on here. Oh, geez. That was and there's the copper pot. Now, the one that has three thing, uh, three bodies missing, the, those prayer rugs, are they stained, like like human remains stained? or Nope. Is there wow. anything on them that designates who they might belong to? Nope. No names. Mm. Uh, the, you can the, check their underwear. <laughs> the trash the trash is uh, going to go up and smell the vials in the, the, the whatchamacallits. Poison! The of course. Uh, and- Just want to verify it. The copper pot is also smelling highly toxic, although it is a gritty surface because it has been at least a month. Got it. Okay. Mm. This, uh, this, along with the windows leading to the backyard, would certainly attribute the fact of the aroma noticed by the neighbors. Mm-hmm. Damn hippies. And it doesn't smell like herbage. But you can see herbage growing in the backyard. And Zadar takes note of that. <laughs> so, and we still don't. Any of it budding? <laughs> nope, no buds yet. Damn. <laughs> and the whistling? Uh, the whistling, give me an investigation check. Everybody. Fuck. That's a no. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> 19. Oh, um, that's oh yeah. whoa, whoa! Who the hell are you? I know. <laughs> Where's Michael? <laughs> Mike, Michael's rolling a D four for all his checks. <laughs> that's it. Uh, Thirteen for Zadar. Uh, not quite enough, Zadar. Uh, Gruffle, you notice that the whistling is coming from. There's a pantry over there. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Go right for it. So it's like another room, another yes. doorway. Small yep. closet-ish right. area. Uh, Camille and Zadar, you notice that uh, Gruffle is headed off into a small closet. Might be wanting to take care of some kind of personal matter. Don't know. Maybe he's just feeling bad still. Could mm-hmm. be. Because he's smaller than a dagger. <laughs> I'll go behind but, him and back him up. But larger than life. Uh, as uh, Camille, you move in behind Gruffle. Gruffle, Camille, and Zadar, all three of you hear the whistling. It's really loud here. Uh, this appears to be a pantry of some kind. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you also notice some scuffs in the dust here, as though somebody has passed through here recently. Uh, hmm. uh, do they look like small? They do look footsteps. like adolescent children footsteps. Everybody give me a perception check. That's more like it. <laughs> 19 19 uh, Camille and Zadar you notice what Ray Charles cannot and for the first time you notice small paw prints here and it appears to lead to the wall beyond hmm. you then hear Lassie Lassie is Timmy in the well, <laughs> uh, but all you see is a solid wall. Hmm. Okay, I uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the wall. I'm gonna go up and investigate the wall. Go ahead. Okay, with Mage Hand, I am actually going to Jesus Christ. Try to push on the wall. <laughs> I'm retitling this candy ass. <laughs> candy, candy land. <laughs> that house on Penny Lane, Candy Land. <laughs> you're going to try and push on the wall. Okay. Yeah. D12 yeah. against me. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> what was that, Frank? D12. Oh, oh, okay. We tied. Four. Fair enough. You feel a little give. Uh, Gruffle, you notice that the wall seems to be giving from Zadar's mage hand. Camille, you notice the same. It's a buff mage hand, I have you know. 
Apparently, it's a candy ass mage hand, is what it is. <laughs> 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 However, I'm sure Gruffle with his man like dagger like appendage could probably push this one through. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch deserves killing. <laughs> Uh, Camille or Gruffle, would either one of you two like to go ahead and give the wall a shove? Uh, uh, the barking is intensifying. Can I? Does the barking sound like it's right behind the wall? Sure does. Hmm. I take Mage Hand and <laughs> take my quarter staff and beat on the wall. Wall against me. <laughs> Which one? D12. Twelve. Yeah. Eight. Nine. Uh, it still gives, but it ain't opening. Gruffle, mm -hmm. you're up. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. With a mage hand? Go ahead, Gruffle. No, I'm hand just going to go, you know, just regularly push it. Oh! oh okay. Yeah. Just, hey, uh, he's got something to prove now. <laughs> D12. D12? Yep. Nine. Two! Uh, with a feat of strength not seen before by the, <laughs> shall we say, under-endowed Gruffle. <laughs> uh, he flings the door open noiselessly and reveals a small chamber with a thick coat of dust on the floor and footprints. A banister of stairs that rise up and a small globe I'm in the wrong spot. No, I'm in the right spot. <laughs> a small globe illuminated by magic hangs over a brass bell. Pieces of broken timber are hung on the wall, and a pair of doors leads out to an open balcony. A quick look at the hidden chamber reveals that an individual is here, and that individual is a small girl in a blue dress telekinetically hanging in midair as a small little Scotty dog barks at it. The girl wears a blue dress and ruby slippers. I will take initiative from everybody as an apparition <laughs> appears atop the stairs. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I was about to say, little girl floating. It was just like, mm, we all float here. <laughs> right. 20. Six. Okay, initiative. Oh, yeah, I rolled horribly. Four. <laughs> you did roll horribly. Uh, 20, you are up first. The apparition is at the top of the stairs and is making the girl in the blue dress dance. It appears to be a ghost. G -g 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 ghost. G -g -g -ghost. Um. <clears throat> oh, sh God damn it. I the the good mind. news is the girl's been possessed, so you fuckers are safe from that problem. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the stairs go up to a small landing, and then there are, like, French doors behind it, leading mm -hmm. out where the, the sunlight is streaming in. Clearly, okay. it is facing the cove. Gotcha. Uh, can I use True Strike? Sure. What do I do? I don't know. Read it. Uh, For the folks at home, of course, because I know exactly what it means. <laughs> Concentration up to one round. You extend your hand, point a finger at a target, <laughs> and range... Your magic grants you a brief insight into the target's defenses. On your next turn, you gain advantage on your first attack roll against the target, provided the spell hasn't ended. Fair enough. Uh, next up is the ghost. Uh, the ghost begins to float down the stairway, and the small child turns around with white in her eyes and no irises or pupils, turns and says, Go! Go before you die! Go! before the raging of the light. And that brings us to number six, Gruffle. Um, <clears throat> I am going Maddox to... Comes to <laughs> <laughs> um, Bob yeah, I'm going to sneak up the stairs and try to attack the ghost that's... Coming. You will meet the ghost head on. <laughs> <laughs> it is coming down the stairs. Go ahead. Uh, the ghost's armor class is 11, everybody. Okay. It goes to ghost 11. <laughs> One higher than 10. <laughs> uh, I crit. It's good to play yeah. old, with old people. Uh, so uh, damage plus reroll damage plus. Using my little uh, guy. So. 
<clears throat> now I'm assuming this is a non-magical weapon. This is non-magical. Gotcha. Uh, so that is 20 damage total with my Steve Nicely attack. done. Nice, nicely done, son. Nicely mm-hmm. done. Zadar, you are up with your pathetic six. My pathetic. Where's Lady Colitis when you need her? Uh, well, I'm going to fire at the g g g g ghost nice. with uh, the crossbow. Fair enough. Uh, <clears throat> crit. Nice. 26 total. So, nice. All right. Uh, let's see. It's damage and damage and modifier, right? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. It is uh, nine points of damage plus four, so 13. Got it. Uh, top of the order, Camille. No, 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 no. This thing is resistant, suffers half damage from acid, fire, lightning, thunder, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non magical uh. weapons. It is immune from cold, necrotic, poison. Uh, it is also immune from charmed, exhaustion, frightened, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, prone, or restrained. It's the big bad guy. guy. Really? Uh, yes. You may attack at advantage with no magical weapon. Hmm. Wow. Now, does uh, plus one weapons count as magical? Yes. Okay. You you have uh, you and uh, Gruffle have still done damage to it. Okay. Just not full. Okay. <clears throat> so I guess I will use my quarter staff. Cross my fingers. Uh, five. <laughs> Gotta switch those dice out. <laughs> Good thing you make them. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I don't make uh, my own, though, so. You know what? Uh, the ghost is going to throw little Tiffany. Oh, no. At six, Zadar. Uh, Zadar is a bludgeoning weapon. Little Tiffany hits you with a 17, I'm assuming. Yeah, she just hits me. <laughs> uh, four hit points of damage. And her pupils become uh, back to normal. Uh, Gruffle, we're going to try and withering touch your ass. Okay. You're going to wither his ass along with his penis? Not with a three, I'm not. uh, (laughs) Unless an eight hits you magically. Uh, Gruffle, you're up. Uh, The ghastly apparition's hand misses you by a mile. All right. Uh, I'm going to use my little rat friend again and go for advantage here with my attack. Uh, And that's a 10, which is just shy of hitting it. 11 is what's required. Zadar, you're up. Uh, You knock little Tiffany off of you, jump up, and rage! Rage against the dying of the the (laughs) light! Little Tiffany grabs her dog and begins to scream, I want my mom! I want my mom! I want my mom! Chaos has erupted in this room. Zadar, do something for the love of God. The ghost rampaging. I grab little Tiffany and I'm like, get a hold of yourself, girl. (laughs) I speak jive. (laughs) (laughs) It's just like, I was just like, go. If you know the way out of here, run. You and Toto. (laughs) My associates are under attack. I'm going to speak with the child. <laughs> I'm going to tell the little girl to get the hell out of here. <laughs> then I'm going to bonus action uh, cast. Uh, did you say cold affects this or is it resistant no. to cold? You, you don't know shit. <laughs> oh, oh, God damn it. All right. Mm-mm-mm. I should have messaged it to Camille, but. Yeah. Yeah, you can try cold. <laughs> you can uh-huh. try. You may always attempt. Uh, yeah, I will attempt. Okay. Uh, with the bonus action, I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna have to make a con save. Fair enough. 14. Yeah, uh, it is unaffected. Yeah. <laughs> Top of the order, the 20, Camille. Uh, Zadar has chosen to use conversation as his uh, piece, uh, opting not to help you and Gruffle. 
Gruffle the unendowed, I guess. Is <laughs> <laughs> According to Lady Colitis. I right, have, right, right. I have no proof of this. Uh, Camille, you are up. I would like to inform everyone of uh, everything that you told me about ah, the ah, 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 <laughs> Nothing affects it. We're all going to die. <laughs> what would you like to do with your other action? Uh... I guess try to whack it with my quarter staff again. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? We'll try a different dice. Oh, fuck me. It's a one. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, one to two, you lose it. Three to four, you hit uh, Gruffle. Five to six, you hit yourself. D6 it for me, please. <laughs> two. <laughs> Uh, your quarterstaff flies up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost will attack uh, Odd Gruffle, even you. Three, Gruffle. Uh, again, na 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 na, Scooby Doo grab. Mm -hmm. uh, 11 plus 5, 16. That hits. DC 13 versus Wisdom. Dang, this thing hits like a truck. Uh, yeah, that's lower than 13. This thing does not hit like a truck. Uh, you suffer seven. <laughs> oh, shit. 4d6. You suffer seven fucking hit points. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Jesus. You age 20 years. Well, yeah. <laughs> what the? <laughs> and you are afraid because it's a g -g 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 ghost. Seriously? He right? just aged 20 years? Oh, yeah. 20 yeah, yeah, yeah. years. Uh, Fuck, that's magical <laughs> aging too, man. That shit doesn't go away. <laughs> uh, but it is your turn. Reroll your DC 13 versus wisdom to see if you continue to flee or if you gather your wits and stay in the room. Uh, mm, all right, let me see. Oh, yeah, 14 this time. Actually, more than uh, You stop yeah. as you are in the small pantry. I must return to battle. Zidar, yeah. you are up as. Uh, Gruffle has almost run over Dorothy and Toto. Okay. Uh, I am going to... <laughs> Tiffany and Toto, I guess. <laughs> Shapeshift and glamour into an exact copy of Camille. Uh, Camilla. Sorry. Sorry. No, Camille. It, no, oh, it Camille. is Camille. Okay. Because I, I read the tweet. and it, Never mind. Anyway, Camille, I shift into her and I cast silent image of another one. And we're going to do the three card money kind of thing. Fair enough. Top of the order, Camille, you and your two twins are now present. What would you like to do? <clears throat> your quarter staff is behind the ghost now. Now, uh, yes, there are two sets of stairs here. Oh, no, there's only one. So you're fucked. Um, I cast mirror image. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. There's We're going to surround her. here now. <laughs> Uh, we are really going to fuck with this ghost now. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, Camille is, you get three of those. He's done one, so there's four and two of you. Yes. He's going to go after a fake. <laughs> but it didn't hit. <laughs> so there are six Camilles still present. Uh, Gruffle, you... Shake off the fear. You look at your withered hands, noticing age and feeling the uh, sting of elderly, and you notice you probably have some grain on the temples. You turn around, rush back in, and you see not Zadar, but you see six Camilles and a ghost. You aren't sure what the fuck is going on, but you're up. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, in the confusion, uh, kind of run up there and attack it. Again. Knock a Camille out of the way. Now you're definitely out of the way, Pack. <laughs> uh, so that's an 18 to hit. That hits easily. All right. All right. Since there was uh, so many, I'm not using my familiar for the whole advantage thing. So. Uh, <laughs> and 13, 15, a poor familiar. <laughs> uh, 16 damage. It's just like rat shit all the way down. What were you using to do the 16? Uh, short sword. There you go. Uh, done. Zadar, Camille, whatever you are, <laughs> you're up. 
<laughs> okay, with both of my short swords, uh, plus one, I am going to make an attack. Uh, does a... 11 is what you need. Okay, 18. Easily. So that hits, and that is uh, <sighs> nine points of, of damage, magical. Mm-hmm. Okay, offhand attack with the short sword. Yep. Okay. Uh, this definitely hits. <laughs> 25. Easily. Okay, that is just going to be a straight up D6. Um, okay, uh, five more points of, of damage, and then I got the sneak attack damage coming too. Is that non magical damage? Uh, uh, that's non magical. Gotcha. Okay, and the sneak attack damage is uh, 10. Nice. Uh,. Uh, Gruffle, just FYI, now that you've returned to battle, you realize that this ghost is Lady Kaleidos. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, before anything, I'm going to use my bonus action to rotate <laughs> within the Camille's. Oh, gotcha. Uh, top of the order, Camille, real Camille, mm. you're up. Uh, fuck. Uh, I got a three. What are, you, what are you using? Because you don't have a quarter staff. My dagger. You suck at martial weapons. <laughs> uh, Gruffle, you got an axe to grind against this bitch, but this bitch is going to attack first. It is going to go after... Jesus, there's six Camilles and one of you, right? <laughs> oh! Aww. Uh, Gruffle, it focused in on you. Perhaps it's attracted to your withering manhood, but it only hits with a nine. So I'm guessing that does not hit. Nope, that misses. Gruffle, it's payback time on this bitch. Right, let's do it. Finish her off now. You owe this. You owe this to her. Get it, Gruffle. (laughs) Uh, 15. That hits? Okay. Uh... 11, 15. Call your man. 21. Oh, and that is non magical? Non magical damage from my shot. That is 10, 56. A horrible screech comes as Gruffle lands a significant hit. (laughs) Uh, The Sirene screams. Everybody, con check for me, please. Not save. (laughs) Oh. We're Wrath of Khan in this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Mm. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, Khan is uh, 16. Six. Oh, just the Khan? Yep. Uh, Khan check, not save. 13. Uh, Camille, Gruffle, you fall to the ground, holding your ears in pain. Zadar, you manage to shield yourself as the corporeal image just implodes upon itself it expands and implodes and darkness exists with only a thin beam of light coming in from the balcony above you notice that two of your associates are down holding their ears screaming in pain but you are okay what would you like to do um uh, the head back there they're down I for the loot count. my friends. Yeah, it's just like I take that golden sex that out of <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I am kidding. I am not gonna do that. There's it's honor there's for real. <laughs> there, there's honor among thieves. At least uh, I'm trying to be that Bull altruistic. Shit. Bullshit. Bullshit. He's not a Bullshit. hero. That's so. right. No, I'm not gonna do Heroes that. Heroes are next week, mm-hmm. fuckers. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up uh to the light and Go to the light, Zadar. Throw open the curtain or whatever it is. Uh, You throw open the curtain, illuminating the entire room in a chamber of light. Camille, uh, Gruffle, uh, the intensive screaming inside your head subsides. You manage to squint your eyes a couple times. You see Zadar looking like Jesus Christ superstar. I look Bob- like Camille, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, you can see outside in the bay. It's a beautiful afternoon, and there lies the coastline with the shipping. And you hear two bells 
or no, you would hear four bells, and all of a sudden, boom, a ballista bolt goes flying <laughs> over the roof, headed towards the harbor, and splashes harmlessly beyond. Uh, I was uh, hoping. <laughs> Camille Gruffle, in spite of a headache, you rise to your feet, blink a couple times, look around, and start to notice shit around here. Uh, up by Zadar, uh, there are a lot of items tacked to the wall with personal memories, uh, shipwreck, shit like that. Uh, there is a brass bell on the wall next to Zadar. And of course, the magical globe of light, which is the size of a human fist, uh, dangles over this bell. Hmm. Uh, everybody roll d20. We'll go in that order. Okay. It's just straight up d20. 12. Heaven. Uh, natural Jesus, 20. Michael, your, your rolls suck. <laughs> they really do. Uh, Zadar, you're closest to the bell. You read it, and it says the SS Colitis. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> uh, you notice that the globe of light is suspended by a brass hand and the globe of light appears to be a stone that you can pick up and remove if you would like uh yes i'm gonna go ahead and pick up and remove you pilfer the stone uh, the light con uh continues uh it is a magic stone of light hmm. okay uh outside you see the passing of ships you see the ballista fall in between two vessels you're sure that those captains are going to be pissed <laughs> uh but uh, captain jackass the neighbor has fired off his ballista at the top of the hour camille gruffle uh you gather your wits and uh you notice the little entranced girl who was possessed is no longer present nor is her dog uh toto um Anything you'd like to do in this room? Where is my quarterstaff at? It's right there next to Zadar. <laughs> so I like to pick that up. Okay. Give um, Zadar a little love tap into the nutsack. <laughs> uh, he was all right. <laughs> Cup check. <laughs> Cup check. Uh, thanks for saving my life, though. Uh. That's right. <laughs> uh, other than the bell and the light, uh, there is nothing of value in this room. Judging from the clock, haha, -ha, Kyle, two fucking hours, baby. Uh, <laughs> these guys have been successful. They have eliminated the ghost, a aka uh, Ms. Kalitis, aka uh, Gruffle Antagonist, uh, and you guys have cleared the house of all but one danger. Uh, there was a mimic somewhere. I say, was there a gold god? Oh, I <laughs> fucking hate mimics. You, you guys yeah. missed a. Uh, <laughs> that was the rug, wasn't it, Frank? <laughs> no, it was not the rug. It was in a room you did not find behind the uh, Battle of Antilles. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you missed uh, the steering column in the parlor, had a ring of. Oh, fuck. Water walking? Oh. Water breathing. Mm. Oh, that would have came in handy. Yeah, here. Okay. Uh, well, you know, naval. Yeah, thing. we, we, yeah. Uh, but uh, we're Port City. <laughs> yeah, you only had uh, two encounters. There were a possible four encounters that you could have had, uh, but you did beat the big bad guy and you have cleared the room or checked the house. Uh, so I would uh, chalk this one up to success. Okay. Um, uh, po post show notes uh, Zadar is going to help. Uh, um gruff will find uh, um somebody who can do greater greater restoration to see if that works <laughs> i mean can can wait on my manhood or my age what are you trying oh, to oh, uh, <laughs> hey it might affect both oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah given the choice you might restore vitality over age uh, yeah. uh with that uh you have uh, allowed little tiffany to escape she will be found by her mom because we aren't monsters on this show. We don't <laughs> care. We, we give a shit about people. 
Uh, let's Lisa go. and Cacophony. <laughs> At least, cacophony, yes. Cathaway, we would have killed that <laughs> bitch, Skinder, and ate her. Um, let's Better go with the crabs. That's right. <laughs> Crab fighter. Crab uh, fighter. We'll go with uh, final thoughts, and we will start where we ended. Uh, Camille, you're up first. I had lots of fun. Uh, yeah. It was good. I liked it. Very good. It kept my, uh, it kept my uh, attention. Very good. Uh, David? Uh, other than uh, the whole candy assness with the May <laughs> it was, it was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I like uh, this one, Frank. So, you, yeah, you know, I got to pick on you guys. I, I got to pick on you. I, you know, I know my monsters are not going to kill you guys. Except in the rare moments, I got to pick on. So. Yeah, nice. I was totally waiting for a Pennywise reference. Yeah, because we're on Penny Lane. And... Right. I, I, I did consider putting a red balloon somewhere, but I <laughs> may, maybe in the final production value because we Probably. all know I, I changed this shit. Uh, and last but certainly not least, one of the Michaels. <laughs> uh, it was it was good. You know, um, even though it was you know waterlogged, I got a little bit cold in there. You know, it wasn't the full performance that I could have, should have shown you guys, but still I great. thought your roles were <laughs> stunning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if we totaled all your roles together, would they reach 50? <laughs> mm, probably not. No. Uh, but did you have fun? That's oh, yeah, a lot of fun. It was there great. There you go. Uh, and you guys succeeded. Uh, there were no party deaths, which is nice. Tiffany got saved. Uh, I got to chalk this up. This this was a pretty good victory for you guys uh, yeah. because the uh, armor and weapons were considered an easy. The uh, mimic that you did not find was uh, difficult. And I don't think I put a hard one in here. Uh, so you got the deadly and the easy. So you got two out of three and you saved the kid. So I, I got to give you props. I thought you did real well. Uh, the mage hands, had you not used them, maybe you would have found it. Honestly, the mage hands fucking up the paintings warm the cockles of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than party failure. <laughs> uh, I, I really liked it. I thought you guys did a good time. I thought you were engaged. Uh, I enjoyed mm -hmm. it. Uh, folks, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy cool stuff like this Cacophony Adventurers Hi. Guild stuff, it's there. If you don't want to buy it, eh, don't. Nobody cares. <laughs> uh, if you want to join us on Discord, do that. Seriously, if you want to join us like Michael did, uh, hit us up. Let us know. We'll get you in here. Uh, you can play with us. I, I mean, Christ, you aren't going to do any worse. We love cacophony. Uh, but for all of us here at Murder, Murder Hobo. <coughs> Rona. <coughs> Rona. Rona. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we've got uh, the uh, Margu campaign tomorrow, I believe. Uh, let's see if those guys can finish that thing off. Tuesday, yeah. we've got Between the Rolls. Next week, who the fuck knows? We've got <laughs> on Thursday. Uh, campaign next Saturday, so that one's kind of closed. But if you want to play, we'll get you in on Thursday if we can. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you for your time. You guys have a safe weekend, and we will talk to you later. Everybody wave, and we'll wave. let the producer... Get us out of here and wash your hands. You wash your hands. Thank you for watching NHID. This concludes our broadcast. Mute.